Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Carlos. How are you doing? How do you say? Uh, tengo un poquito de sueño. I am a little sleepy, you can say. I am a little sleepy. A little sleepy. A little sleepy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, a little sleepy. Okay. It's Friday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's Friday. I mean, it's the last, the last day of the week. It's right. Of the yeah. weekdays, right? Yeah. So it's it's okay to be tired. I mean, it's normal. Yes. It's Friday. Uh, and and everybody knows it. <laughs> it's, it's Friday and everybody knows it. Somebody's saying there. Alguien está diciendo por ahí. Somebody's saying there. <laughs> Hector, I think, right? Viernes y el cuerpo lo sabe. Friday and the body knows it. And the body knows it. Now it. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. It's Friday. It's Friday. I mean, it's day five of the week. So hard, hard work. Trabajo duro, hard work during the week. So it's normal. I understand you. I put myself on your shoes, all right? I put myself <laughs> on your shoes. <laughs> Ya me pongo en los zapatos de ustedes, ¿ok? I put myself on your shoes. <laughs> All right. Hello, Ellen Nielsen. Javier. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How is it going? Uh, I'm feeling good in my ah. work. Ah, you're working? Yeah. It was your turn today. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, hello, Ellen Nielsen. Hello, teacher. What's up? Nothing much. Same thing. Uh, Family, yeah, always. Friends, work. <laughs> and beers, no. No, no beers. And soccer, but no beers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry right. for the noise, but uh, there is a church next to me, so they are they are just a little noisy but... yeah yeah but but it's okay we we i mean it doesn't sound so noisy all right it doesn't sound so noisy no se escucha mucho yeah. it doesn't sound so noisy okay yeah <laughs> so. okay uh hello carla maria hello how are you doing i'm tired tired it's normal it's okay don't be afraid to say you're tired. It's normal. It's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Ulysses. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you. And you? I'm very tired. Very I, tired, too. Everybody's tired today. I'm working, teacher. Oh, really? It's OK. It's OK. Don't worry. Okay. Don't get disconnected. Just stay connected with the camera off if you're working, OK? Okay. All right. Hi, Christina. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Um, arrive, arrive. Llegando el tráfico. Arriving. You can say arriving. Arriving home. Arriving. Or coming home. All right. Coming home. You can say it sounds better to say coming home. Coming home. Coming home. Coming home, okay. llegando a casa, coming home. El hombre daña. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Santos. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How do you feel today? I, I am good. You feel good? Yes. Nice. Very good. Hi, Daniel. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Hi. I'm very well. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, we are about to start. Uh, just remember to say, how are you? We have different ways, right? Tenemos diferentes formas de decir, how are you? You can say, how are you? You can say, um, what's up? So Elenison says, what's up? But it's informal, okay? What's up is informal. You can say, how are you doing? How are you doing? It's like, how are you? How is it going? How are you? How's everything? ¿Cómo está todo? How's everything? How are you? It's the same, same purpose, okay? How are you? How's everything? How are you doing? How is it going? What's up? 
uh, how have you been or what have you been up to, for example. So we have different ways to say, how are you? Okay, uh, now let's start and I will, I will start with the attendance, all right? Empezaré con la asistencia, I will start with the attendance. All right, let's see, Carlos. Present teacher. Okay, Claudia, Cristina. Present teacher. Daniel. Present teacher. Raquel. Present teacher. Very good. Ellen Nielsen. Present teacher. Kelsey. Hazel. Hector. Present teacher. Irma. Javier. Present oh, teacher. Okay. Johnny. Mauricio. Present teacher. Lucy. Present teacher. Maho. Present teacher. How's your mom, Maho? How is your mom? More or less. Okay. No, no parece mejorar. Oh, she gets better. Esperemos, primero Dios, mejore poco a poco. Okay. Uh, let's see, uh, Rafael. Rafael is not connected. All right. Uh, Santos. Present teacher. All right. Ulises. Present teacher. Wendy. I am here, teacher. Okay. On your motorcycle. Carla Maria. <laughs> Present. And Carla Raquel. Carla Raquel is not connected today, I think. Okay, everybody. So um, welcome again uh, to today's uh, session. Bienvenidos a, a la sesión de este día. It's Friday, last day of the week, right? So welcome again. Bienvenidos nuevamente. Welcome again. And well, uh, to start, I have, let me see, for 12, uh, I have around 15 people connected, okay, which is good, okay, es bueno, which is good. Okay, um, so I remember uh, yesterday you were asking some questions, right, in pairs, en parejas estaban haciéndose algunas preguntas, you were asking some questions, pero no sé si tenemos las parejas, I don't know if we have the pairs, all right? If not, we can do this activity in a moment, si no lo podemos hacer en un momento, tal vez se conectan algunos. Algunas otras personas, right? Carlos and Daniel are, are here, right? Uh, Carla, Raquel, and Wendy. Carla, Raquel is not here, connected, I think. Uh, Wendy is connected, but she's on a motorcycle. Elsie and Lucy? Yes, right, the, the two of them are connected. Hector and Javier? Yes, right. Uh, Ellen Nielsen and Irma? Irma is missing, I think, right? Uh, Cristina and Carla Maria? They both are connected, yes. I guess. Yes, right. Uh, Johnny and Ulysses, I think Johnny is not connected. Ulysses is, right? But Ulysses is working, I think. And Rafa and Santos. Rafa is not connected, right? No. Okay, faltan algunos. So, uh, vamos, a hacer, vamos a terminar esta actividad en un momento. We will finish this activity in a moment. Sorry? Sorry, Hola. Ulysses. Okay, uh, well. Very good. Uh, so we are going to continue with another activity then, uh, with another uh, activity, and we are going to do this in a moment, okay? So to start, today we start unit number three, but before we start unit number three, we will complete an activity that is pending, all right? Una actividad pendiente, an activity that is pending and it's important, okay? So the pending activity is the following. Let me share with you here. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, the pending activity is this one. It's on page number 26, all right? It's a writing activity. So listen, in this activity, you are, you are supposed to write a paragraph. Teacher, uh, sorry, uh, what page? It's page 26. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Es esta pendiente, es a pending activity, all right? Una actividad pendiente, es a pending activity. So you need to write a five line paragraph about what you would do in case a customer wants the refund due to a bad service or product he paid for or she paid for, okay? So 
you need to write a paragraph about what you would do. Va a escribir un párrafo acerca de lo que harían ustedes. In case the customer wants the refund, el cliente quiere reembolso, ¿ok? Because of a bad service or product he paid for, ¿ok? So, for example, you can say what you would do, right? I would, uh, vamos a usar la estructura I would, ¿ok? So, you can say, for example, um, I would, you can start like this. Podemos empezar así. I would do what? ¿Qué harían? I would, um, tell me something you would do. Algo que harían. So what would you do? ¿Qué harían? I would. I would. Remember. Right? The, 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 the problem is that the customer wants a refund. Why? Ah. Oh. Was a refund because he or she had bad service for a, of a product, okay? So write what you would do. Escriban qué harían ustedes con ese cliente. So tell me something you would do. Díganme algo que harían. Something you would do. Tell me something. Díganme algo para que demos el ejemplo. Yeah, maybe. Hector, yes, maybe. Ask. I will ask. I would ask what? Mm, I would ask. Sorry. Ask. Yeah. A E T. For what? For, for the problem. With the problem. Ah, good. I would ask for the problem. Okay. Yo preguntaría por el problema. I would ask. Lo siento, me quedo bien feo ahí. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I'm just trying to give you one example, okay? For uh, the problem, right? So Hector says, I would ask for the problem. Yo preguntaría por el problema. It's okay. So, but you need to write one, two, three, four, five things you would do. Cinco cosas que harían. Five things you would do. Okay. So please get started. Empecemos. Get started. The problem here is that the customer wants the refund. All right. Quiere el reembolso. He wants the refund. Mm -hmm. Equivalent. 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 Remember, the idea is to use good, right? The idea is to use good, all right? The idea is to use good. I would ask, I would call, I would visit, for example, okay? I would check. I would talk. I don't know what verb you are using, okay? No sé qué verbo van a usar. I don't know what verb you are using.
I will give you uh, two more minutes and you share what you have, all right? Te daré dos minutos más y comparten lo que tienen. And you share what you have. If you don't finish, no problem, okay? Don't worry. You share what you have. Comparten lo que tienen. You share what you have. Okay, uh, very good. Uh, so the question is underlined here. Okay, the question is page page 26. The question is, what would you do, right? Because it's the question. So we change, pasamos el, el you después de what, okay? After what. And you say, what would you do? What would you do in case a customer wants the refund due to a bad service or product he or she paid for? Let me repeat the question for you because you will use this question to practice. What would you do in case a customer wants the refund due to a bad service or product he or she paid for? All right, so that's the question. So listen, uh, so we will practice in groups, okay? In groups of three approximately, okay? And then you will take turns asking and answering the question. Imagine I practice with Daniel and Carlos. So I can ask Daniel the question. Okay, Daniel, what would you do in case a customer wants a refund due to a bad service or product he or she paid for? He answers my question. El contesta mi pregunta con lo que escribió. And then he can ask Carlos. Y luego le pregunta a Carlos. And Carlos can ask me. Y Carlos me pregunta a mí al final. Carlos can ask me, all right? So you will practice in little groups. Van a practicar en grupos pequeños. You will practice in uh, small groups. Any question? Any question? No? Any question? Page number 26. There you can see the question, okay? So no questions? No, teacher. No, it's clear, I think, right? Okay, so let's go then and practice in groups. The same, lo mismo. No voy a poder visitar los grupos porque si no se puede eh, trabar, okay? Zoom. Así que solo me quedaré en un grupo nada más. I will stay in a group only, okay? Yeah. So is it clear then? Está claro que van a hacer? Is it clear what you are going to do? Yeah. 
All right. Eh, si alguien no va a trabajar, no accede, no, no acceda a los, a los grupos, por favor, ok? Please. All right, let's go and practice then. Let's go and practice. Vaya. Veamos ahí, Dani. Ok. Yo tengo cuatro aquí. Quiero ver dos. Ajá, cuatro tengo. No sé si estarán buenas. Eh, tengo la primera que dice: I walk as for invoice and review the product. Ok. De ahí tengo otra que dice: I will not have. Been, perdón, I, I will not have broken the warranty seals. Estaría buena esa, teacher. Can you repeat it, please? I will not have broken the warranty seals. Hmm. It's what you would do, right? So you would ask, you would ask that, le preguntarías eso entonces. Sí, eh, yo, ajá, yo le preguntaría si no ha roto los sellos de garantía. Ah, then you can say, I would ask, uh -huh. I would ask the customer if the seals are not broken, right? Ah, entonces, I would ask, sería. Ajá, yo le preguntaría al cliente. I would ask the customer if The seals are not broken. Are not broken, sería. Yeah. Customer seals, me dijo, ¿no? uh -huh. I would ask the customer if, see, if, ah, okay. if the seals are not broken. Ah, okay. Ah, pues quieren, sin acompañar, voy a corregir esta, esta que tengo y la otra, porque aquí tengo otra también. Okay. Okay. Eh, digo yo alguna de las mías, para ver si es a mí. <ríe> Me sí, pregunto. Sí, Okay, I will check if the product is really defective. No sé, chequearía si el producto está realmente defectuoso. No sé, sí. Okay, I will request a purchased receipt, pero no sé, si es, no sé segura si es como el recibo de compra. Receipt. Es, Yeah, but you pronounce, it's okay, but the pronunciation is receipt. A purchase receipt. Receipt. No, receipt. What request a purchase receipt? La P no se pronuncia. You don't pronounce the letter P. Solo receipt. se dice receipt. 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 Yeah. Okay. Receipt. Yeah. Receipt. Y... I will request the review the validity of the warranty. I revisaría la validez de la garantía. Yeah, validity. 
Y bueno, y la última que yo había escrito es I will um, manage the refund if meet uh, the re requirement. Repeat it. I will manage um, or the Vamos a ver. ¿Haría efectivo? ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Haría efectivo? Tell me, will, tell, tell me what you have, pero dígame cómo lo tiene. Tell me what you have. I will manage the refund if meet, meet alter requirement. If it meets, what? Alter requirement. Ah, the requirement, all the requirements. Requirement, requirement. Yeah, all the requirements. If it meets all the requirements, it's okay. All the requirements. Yeah, all the requirements. It's okay. All the requirements. Yeah. Okay. Eso sería todas. Esas tengo. <laughs> ok. Voy yo con las mías entonces. Ok. I would like to help you. What is the problem? Eh, la segunda sería, I would like to know your name. Tercera, I would like to know what the product I buy. Cuarta, I would like to know where you call just from. Y la última, I would like you to feel all absorbing at the end. Eso sería a mí. Okay. So this is what you would tell the customer, right? Eso es lo que le diría al cliente. This is what you would tell the customer. Yes. Yes, okay. Yeah, okay. Eh, yo tengo, bueno, solo me quedaría, quiero ver, I will ask for invoice in the review of the reports. Uh, I will ask Chet if this is still on the warranty date. I will ask how being tempered with. Uh, I will ask the customer if the seals are not broken. Can you repeat the previous one, please, Javier? Puede, puede repetir la anterior? Can you repeat the previous one? Uh, I will ask how being tam, eh, esa palabra no sé cómo se pronuncia, eh, se escribe tampered. Tampered. Tampered with. Tampered with. Uh -huh. How do you wit. write it? ¿Cómo se escribe? Ahorita. Eh, sería T A M P E R E D. All right. Let me see. It's tamper. Uh huh. Tamper. Tamper. Ah, okay. Tamper. Yeah. Tamper. Tamper with. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. What do you mean by tamper? Eh, decía ahí que me puse. Espérame, que me olvidó de esa palabra. Ya ahorita okay. le. Ya me que se me perdió. Se me olvidó algo. Okay, you can check later. It's okay, don't worry. You can check later. Continue. Ah, 
a una mala manipulación sería que va unido con bit tamper with no, así lo encontré yo como bit tamper with no haya sido manipulado como un mal manejo es like alterado más o menos tamper Ajá. ese es el contexto sí. en el que yo lo hice como alterar Ajá. tamper sí uh -huh. alright yeah it's okay then Ajá, que el producto no... Ajá, yo le diría que el producto no haya sido alterado. Sí. No, yes. no mm -hmm. Ajá. It's okay. Uh, so, did you finish? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Let's go then. <laughs>